Hi everyone, Chris from Stone Age Gamer here, and this is the controller pack for the Nintendo 64, basically the N64 memory card. Now for a lot of games on the system, this little guy here was useless. They had battery backups built right into the games. But for other stuff like WCW NWO World Tour, Doom 64, Castlevania, Beetle Adventure Racing, this guy was everything because all your saves could only be done right here. Now, like other memory cards from the era that this came from, this is based on older technology, uh, battery technology, and those batteries are eventually going to die. Wouldn't it be great if you had a memory card that lasted forever? This is the Forever Pack 64, and it's gonna save your games basically indefinitely. Let's take a look. Okay, so here is the original N64 uh, controller pack, and this is the Forever Pack 64. Side by side, uh, we're gonna do a little side by side comparison, but first off, let's talk about what the actual differences are. This uh, uses a battery to back up its saves, so this will eventually become toast. Uh, batteries do all eventually die and you know, maybe even corrode and then your save files are kaput. This guy here uses what is known as modern non-volatile technology to save your games. So basically the save files that you put on this thing are going to last indefinitely. There's well, that's it. <laughs> that's what it is. So let's see how they look uh, side by side as far as size and shape and all that jazz. And, uh, well, they're pretty close to identical. So we're just going to crack this open here. Inside the box, you have uh, the actual thing itself and a couple of fancy stickers. So you can write down whatever save files are on your memory card. We're going to tuck those back in the box. And here you go. There they are side by side. Uh, they're the same color. Texture wise is almost identical. The Forever Pack is smoother than the, uh, the original Nintendo branded one. I think you can kind of see that in the, uh, the sheen here in my, uh, my lights. So uh, really, it's such a minor difference, but that's one difference. Uh, it doesn't have the divot here for underneath your sticker, so your sticker will actually sit more smooth and flat on this than on the original manufacturer one. Uh, it's got two more screw holes on the top and uh, it doesn't have the Nintendo logo on it. But other than that, size wise, everything else, these guys are on the outside pretty much identical. So let's take a look at how it looks in a controller. I've got my gray standard Nintendo 64 controller right here. Uh, the memory card slaps right into the back like so. And ta-da, you can see it's a perfect match for the color of the controller itself. Uh, slides in and out with the uh, the locking mechanism exactly like uh, the original Nintendo one, and that is pretty much that. Good to go. So let's say you have one of these controllers. You have an Atomic Purple one. Do you want to slap a gray one into the back of your Atomic Purple controller? Well, sure, that doesn't look bad, but wouldn't it be better if the thing itself was Atomic Purple? Here is the Atomic Purple uh, Forever Pack, because these come in a man all manner of colors. Uh, most of them are designed after the Fantastic controller. So here's the Atomic Purple one. You can see here that the plastic itself is a perfect match. It looks a little bit darker uh, from here just because uh, the, the chip inside is black. But if you look at the actual plastic itself, it's a, it's a perfect match. Slap this sucker right in the back and ta-da! Look at that. It is, uh, it's, it's, I can't say solid purple because it's clear. It's Atomic Purple all the way through. It's a pretty nice looking setup. So let's say you have one of these. This is the Wireless Brawler 64 from Retro Fighters, and you want to put a memory pack into this guy. So you put memory packs in the back of these controllers. You almost never see them, right? But this guy, this dongle sits right in your system. It's staring you in the face the entire time. Well, we have the ice version that matches the ice blue N64 controller, the fantastic one. And would you look at that? It's a perfect match. It looks outstanding. Nice and, I mean, really, it's, it is the, it's it's a perfect match. It looks fantastic. Uh, you get this sticking out of your N64 and it's going to look really darn nice. But let's say the Forever Pack doesn't come in the exact same color as your controller, like this one. This is the solid green Nintendo 64 controller. It was uh, released around when the system launched. So I went and grabbed the Jungle Green Forever Pack 64, which is not a perfect match, but you'll see it looks pretty darn good. Uh, obviously, if you have the Jungle Green uh, Nintendo 64 controller, this is gonna be a perfect match, but slapping this green guy in the back there still looks pretty darn good to me. 
Uh, looks like a green memory card and a green controller, and you are good to go. So that's the basics of the Forever Pack 64. Uh, functionally, it works just like your original guy. You put this in here, you'll access your save games, your Nintendo 64 will register it just like a regular controller pack, except it'll never die and or explode on you. There you go. The Forever Pack 64 from Four Layer Technologies is available now at StoneAgeGamer.com in a multitude of awesome colors, with more theoretically on the way. So check them out. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked what you saw here today, please follow, comment, like, subscribe, share, and tell us all about which N64 games you use your controller pack on. How many game saves do you want to stuff on one of these little guys? Or better yet, how many fancy controllers do you want to stick these little guys in to make them look all that more complete? We love hearing from everybody. Sound off in the comments. Thanks again for watching, everybody. On behalf of all of us here at Stone Age Gamer, keep playing games. Oh, oh, I am not very good at this game.